Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Hello everyone, this is Wendy Key and I just want to first of all say thank you to each and every one of you that are in the Wendy Key Ministries Facebook group as well as those that are on each and every page and even the ones that are on the like page where you basically receive all of my updates. So thank you so much for everything that you do. I appreciate that greatly. Today, your devotion is coming from Proverbs 18, Proverbs 18 and 21. It declares, death and life or in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Now know that each and, every one, each and every one of us have our problems. We have trials. We have situations. We even have setbacks. And things that sometimes are trying to hold us back. Or stumbling blocks that try to get in our way. We must know and we must remember this verse, this verse is very key that death and life are in the power of the tongue. When we're going through our situations where we may not feel like we want to feel, we must know that we have the word of God and the word of God is powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. So we need to speak life to our situations, speak life to our marriages, speak life to our homes, our family, our friends, even our children, everything that is around us. We need to begin to declare and speak life in our situations. I encourage you today to wake up in the morning. Wake up on the right side of the bed. Get pep in your step. Write down you a declaration for yourself. Years ago, I wrote this declaration. As I wake up in the morning, I try to remember it every morning, but sometimes I don't. I say something like, I am strong in God and the power of his might. There is no weapon formed against me that shall prosper. I'm more than a conqueror through Jesus Christ. I'm the head. I'm not the tail. I'm above and I'm not beneath. Greater is he who is on the inside of me than he who is in the world. You can just get your declaration together by looking in the word of God, whatever areas you may struggle with. Begin to declare that, to begin to decree that. I know a lot of times I make dinner. My children, they gather around the table and they're eating. Sometimes I actually eat a little bit before them so that I can minister to them and do devotions to them, especially if it's breakfast time and my husband has already gone to work. And I declare around them, I touch each and every one of their heads, and I say that you're going to be great. You're going to be mighty in the Lord. I speak life to you now. You shall live and not die. And I just begin to declare the promises of God over their life. And I begin to walk around my house and declare the promises of God. You know, the word of God declares in 3 John 2 that the love he wish above all things that we will prosper and that we will be in health even as our soul prospers. So I encourage you today to speak life, whatever you're going through, whatever your situation is. Don't lose hope. Don't give up. Keep fasting. Keep praying. Keep calling out to God. Keep speaking these positive word-filled confessions through the Holy Scriptures on your life. And I know that my God will make a way. My mom used to always say, he might not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. So speak life to your situations today.